Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, May the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And uh, it seemed like the front was never going to make it, but as you can see from the satellite picture, the front is uh, located over the southeast coast of uh, the United States, stretching down into the Gulf of Mexico. And we're seeing a good deal of clear skies, though we do have some local fog in the area. There's a look at the surface map, and you can see the front uh, stretching there from uh, a little low over western North Carolina down into the Gulf of Mexico. The upper atmosphere, of course, the trough we saw that was out over Oklahoma yesterday has now uh, moved to a position uh, as of uh, last night uh, along the Alabama-Mississippi line, and that uh, trough will continue to move uh, ever so quickly off to the uh, east, although it's not going to move real quick because it's going to get sort of established over the eastern U.S. for a couple of days. Uh, you can see all the fog symbols on the surface map this morning. Uh, temperatures down in the 50s uh, across uh, much of the northern half of the state of Alabama. Uh, I see Birmingham still at 60 and Anniston at 61. And I mentioned there's a dense fog advisory for uh, much of uh, the western half of Tennessee and the northern halves of Mississippi and Alabama and some heat advisories out over the southwest. QPF, uh, that pretty much tells the story for the next five days through 12Z. That'll be 7 a.m. on Friday morning. Not expecting much in the way of precipitation. All right, the 06Z GFS model run. And there goes our uh, uh, front and the surface low up over Virginia and the front out into the uh, Atlantic. And in the upper atmosphere, of course, we see the trough uh, um, getting over into what I would call the eastern portions of the southeastern U.S. And the Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk for storms over parts of uh, eastern Virginia and eastern North Carolina, as well as uh, kind of a, a, a twin out over the northwestern U.S. over parts of uh, Idaho, Montana, and Washington, Oregon. The uh, upper trough does uh, kind of take up residence for uh, the day on Monday, as you can see it over the, the uh, southeastern U.S., uh, but that keeps us fairly dry. Little impulses may be coming through the flow, but I think for the most part, moisture is pretty limited, and uh, the result is we may see a few isolated showers. I think if we do see any, they'll be north of the area. And day two, the uh, outlook uh, from SPC has no severe weather forecast. By uh, Tuesday, the trough is beginning to edge off as we see a uh, weak ridge ridging coming our way in response to the trough that's up over the Dakotas. And I mentioned that uh, precipitation is kind of not expected because as you can see from precipital water values, uh, things are pretty dry with those brown areas uh, over uh, the Ohio and Tennessee river valleys. And for day three, Storm Prediction Center is once again not forecasting anything in the way of severe weather. Now, when we get out to Wednesday, this is day four, we see that uh, nice-looking, uh, a fairly substantial shortwave trough coming uh, out across Minnesota, and uh, that will be producing a surface low up there over Minnesota. And Storm Prediction Center is outlooking the possibility of some severe weather over what I would describe as a, um, a small section of the central Mississippi River Valley. When we get out to... Uh, Thursday, we see that that trough moves across the Great Lakes pretty quickly. So what happens is that will uh, move the surface low uh, into uh, eastern Canada and that the cold front trails back across the Ohio and uh, into the Tennessee River Valley. Now, it looks like what's going to happen is as the flow becomes a little bit more zonal temporarily, that that front will become parallel to the uh, upper flow. So it's, it's basically going to wash out and it looks like Thursday. We might see an isolated shower in central Alabama, but I think most of them stay to our north. By Friday, uh, as I say, it looks like we become uh, pretty zonal across the area, although we're beginning to see the signs of a little bit of uh, ridge developing in the Gulf, and that becomes a little bit more uh, visible there as we see kind of a stretching from uh, the Gulf 
of Mexico up along the East Coast in response to that nice deep trough that's coming in in the vicinity of the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles and northeast uh, Mexico, northeast New, Mex New Mexico. And that will be creating a surface low over the panhandles of Oklahoma and uh, Texas. But uh, while our uh, flow is coming around to the south, it looks like Saturday should be dry enough and without any real push that we won't see anything in the uh, way of any significant rains uh, or showers at all. And then on Sunday, at the end of the period, we see that, uh, that strong uh, trough closed low coming out across uh, parts of Kansas and Nebraska. And, of course, that will be producing a fairly substantial surface low uh, just to the north of St. Louis with a cold front. You can see it stretching down across the lower Mississippi River Valley. And uh, that will mean some showers, I think, as a possibility on uh, Sunday. Now, we're going to sort of dip into voodoo country uh, because I want to point something out here. Uh, there is Monday, the 14th of May, and very strong close low over in northern Missouri. But what I want to point out is that the GFS is suggesting that on Tuesday, May the 15th, that that trough goes negatively tilted. So that means we're looking at the potential for a fairly substantial um, severe weather episode, not suggesting an outbreak or anything like that just yet, but certainly would suggest uh, some widespread uh, severe weather as a possibility. Going further into voodoo country, we see that that trough uh, moves very quickly up into uh, the area just to the north of New York, but another one is coming in right behind it. That one comes across the Mississippi River uh, on the 18th, 19th of May. This is for the 19th. And uh, then finally, at the end of the period, 372 hours out, 21st of May, we do see that big, huge upper ridge that dominated voodoo country yesterday. We see it raising its ugly head over the southwestern United States. So yes, we could be seeing some heat at the end of May. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back in the saddle with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I had a great time at uh, Altoona, at Altoona Day. Appreciate the invitation and enjoyed chatting with folks about ABC 3340. I hope that you have a great Sunday. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.